Okay, for this tutorial I'm going to show how I set up my auto drive. Um, what I usually like to do first of all is make a run from the farm up to the store so that if you purchase another vehicle you can nip up there, get it and send it back down to the farm and move around a lot quicker rather than having to drive all the way back and all the drive there and so on. So I'll show you how I do this. So we need to switch the auto drive on. So click on the center mouse button and then turn on this little warning triangle here and that switches it all on and then you go here which is your drive record button so click that and you'll see a little blue blue red color blind now uh, red bar come up that's going to be our starting point so we give it a name so we'll call this home farm I mean you can call it whatever you want you know that's up to you as long as you know what you're doing with it um, and what the places are right now we can drive off uh, it would help if I started the engine drive on down here get onto the road now I will point out one thing if you're going to have the other vehicles on the road please uh, just to make it simpler for yourself stay on the right side of the road whether it be left or right hand drive um, otherwise if you hit another vehicle it stops dead there's just there's, this part of the software is unforgiving you just don't go anywhere so don't drive down the road with a combine with its header on because as soon as you meet another vehicle you'll stop and you'll be wondering where it's got to so as I say just stick to the, the right side of the road and you won't go wrong and we get down to the store and uh, I'll show you how that works this little truck's ideal for setting out your routes you can see everything going on Um, now I'm going to turn left and come in at the back side of the store and yes I'm going down the wrong side of the road but I know this map no cars go around here so I'll be alright now one thing I will say is make sure always coming in centre of the gate because you've got a long load on if you cut the corner you'll jam up and then pull up outside the store here and we'll call that store create and that's the store done right now we're going to drive back to the farm again remember keep center of the gates and I go out over this a bit, give myself a bit of room to get out and then back over and away we go the line or the track line crosses over here but they don't interfere with each other so you don't need to worry with that you can zigzag over them Right, back down to the farm. Nearly there. 
tractor there ready to do some ploughing again I'll show you how that all works in a little while to harvest so that it fills it. Whoops! Ah! Right. I'll come back to that. I've made, I just wandered off the road. That'd be a good chance. You can straighten that track up. I'll show you in a minute. Right. Come around here. Right, now, again switch the m m cursor on by switching the mouse button on. When you click on this, boom, it's done. Um, actually, I should have gone into my settings and turned auto connect on. So what we need to do control, left control down, click on that, click on that and it will link up. The circuit is now complete. So if I switch this to go to the store, I'm not going all the way up there, just there you go. Let's find where I went off the road a little bit. Just here, so stop that. Right. Just go down the centre a bit. Come back a little bit. We need to just straighten this up. Right. Just hold down the control key to bring the red buttons up and then right click, and drag and drop. And that's all you need to do. Let's move up a bit closer. There you go. That makes it a little tidier then. So if I change that now to go to home farm, off she goes. So that's how I set up my store run. Boop, boop, done. And the reason for this I will demonstrate. So if I go to the store.